I'm obsessed with blazers. Like I cannot go out of my house without one, especially the oversized ones. Like I am dreading the day when they will be going out of style. Today we'll be taking a look if that is actually going to happen or not, because we're taking a look at the spring summer 2024 outerwear trends. Let's get into it. Hi and welcome to MM Design or Design. This is a channel where I talk about fashion trends straight from the runways. Like spring has sprung and like where are the trends Maria finally getting back on it? A little bit more on it than I was during school. But let's dive into the outerwear trends. What are the runways presenting us? And just a reminder, whenever you are seeing runway trends, the trend is either strong if it's already existing or it's going to pick up in a couple of years. Oh, another little quick thing. This trend report is both for men and women, so it doesn't really matter like how you identify either. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find something for you. So first trend that we're going to be talking about is the bomber jacket. Yes, it's like it's never has gone away, but we do see the tendency of it being crazy oversized. We see it in a few shows like JW Anderson, Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton also has more of a volume bomber situation situation happening. Bomber jacket, if you don't know, it's basically a jacket that has the stretchy kind of a cuff situation, stretchy at the bottom as well, maybe to go around your waistline or maybe your hips. And it can either have also a stretchy color or it could have more of a regular button up shirt kind of a collar as well but i digress i mentioned then the crazy oversized trends but we also see a regular maybe like almost a vintagey type of a bomber as well going maybe a little bit sporty or even made in a leather as well maybe if you find like an old high school letterman jacket or anything along the lines there are here and i feel like it's a really classical jacket that is leaving or are taking a lot of attention unless I guess if you are going to go like these oversized trend then this is gonna be more trendy rather than classical so completely up to you for myself, I'm more of an hourglass shape. I really like the cropped ones, something that will end at like where my waistline is. So it works with my body more because if it's like a longer one, my hips are too big and it like looks really odd there. Anyways, let's move on to a biker jacket. So we see a couple of variations. One is more like a really classic biker jacket on a zipper with a open color situation we see it in variety of shows once again we have some on a larger scale and some on a smaller scale so we are seeing colliding of the scales where we had oversized everything now we see re-emergence of more of a slimmer tighter fits as well I'm sure you'll be able to find a few of these kinds of jackets in your wardrobe I know that I have some of them but I no longer fit into them Ah, oh, those tight arms holes. And then the second type of jacket is more of a motorcycle sports kind of jacket. So they are mostly made in leather. I'm not sure if it's real leather or not. Sometimes they even have more of an old sayings or branded jackets. I'm sure those will be really easy to find in thrift stores unless somebody already found them. Or we have the same situation but a smaller cleaner jackets as well like we're seeing here right now. And I feel like this is more of a street style, a little bit more of a grunge situation. Like here in Michael Kors, we also see them very classy as well. Next big trend is the worker jacket. It can be either a jacket or more of a coat, like a taxi cab jacket situation. So it has more of a color of a dress shirt, but it is like either on a coat or a jacket. And we see this in variety of styles. We've seen this trend before on the runways. So it's not surprising. It's more like finally the trend has developed in like 
the public so now there is more of it out there once again it was created in many different materials such as fabric and leathers but i guess we are all taking a look may mainly on Miu Miu and Prada shows, they are dictating what are the trends that are going to be popular next. And those shows had more of a weathered look. So it's actually a worker jacket, like something a little bit, maybe I don't want to say painted over, but it has some evidence of wear and tear for sure. A little bit an oversized. So I'm sure you'll be able to find this on their stores, you guys. Am I going to be a broken record today? Maybe I am. They were mainly in like the these muted colors. Here is finally the Prada show. I think this is the exact what I'm talking about. You can see that like they don't look like they belong on the runways. So they have a really strong juxtaposition between the outfit, the dress underneath and the, it being over top. I love whenever that happens on the runways when things are so contrasting that it just makes it so interesting and so fun to look at. As I mentioned, it can be a jacket or a coat or maybe even like almost like a blazer but with different lapels. Yes, I remembered it. I guess it's more of a color here. We just seen Prada being a little bit more muted. Here in Versace, there's like bright colors, very spring-like. So you can interpret this in so many different ways that you totally can find a way to use this in your personal style. I love watching these runways because I get inspired by the styling. Maybe I like a certain part of the outfit and then I can recreate it from what I have in my closet. And yes, I think this is a very classy, very casual outerwear idea that if you have something like this, definitely try styling it now with more of a modern twist, like pairing it with skirts, with a more like a delicate dresses underneath. If you don't have anything like this and you're maybe really into blazers, then go and find a blazer that has a similar neckline, similar color and go from there. We also see like I'm taking this as a worker one, but more of a safari kind of a jacket. We also see this in Boss having more like a modern office worker here with just really simple jackets. All right, let's head in into blazers. For sure, we're still seeing sea of men's blazers worn by women as well. We see more of a looser blazer, sometimes even crazy oversized blazers, but are we tired of it? I don't know. I love the style of it. I really like to pair it with many different aesthetics, but if you already have something like this, what should you look out for? Is there going to be a shift towards a certain style of blazers? And yes, there is. Myself as a lover of blazers, I definitely found that it's either there were a little bit even more baggier, like we're seeing here in Etro Show, or they are a little bit more slimmer. So yeah, there is like this gradient of blazers that are populating the runways and I will be talking about every single one of them. One of the notable things that we see a lot of tuxedo blazers. So a much more fancier than a regular schmegular men's blazer that you can find at a thrift store. So we see more of detailed lapel looks. Maybe they're made of satin, like made a little bit of a contrast between the material of the blazer and the lapels. We also see them varying in shapes as well, maybe like a dinner coat or a full-on tux. Dolce Gabbana had even like off the shoulder tuxedo styling. Here we see tuxedo with an like a swooping back. Really interesting. Of course, Yves Saint Laurent and for men had a bunch of these. They had very strong shoulders, were a little bit more boxy, maybe like the 90s style of the blazer. So potentially you'll be able to find that at a thrift store as well. While for women's, the tuxedos were a lot more fit. Stella McCartney had the tuxedo coats and yeah, so keep that in mind. 
keep an eye out for these for sure. So McCartney also had this interesting situation, like a mass jacket as well. But the next one that I've briefly said, the fact that they were more fitted, the blazers. We have waistline showing and the bracelet. Yes. So sometimes either super exaggerated shoulders going into this tiny little waistline or the blazer itself isn't too oversized. It's really tailored to you and you have emphasis on the waistline again. Erdem here we see the figure is definitely more feminine, maybe even having a little bit of a peplum situation happening as part of the blazer. Ralph Lauren here you can see that the blazers are smaller, they're more elegant, they're more fitted. How many times I'm gonna say this? We see this also in Moschino, we see them in Ferragama, also coats having more of an hourglass shape to them. Even for men as well, here in Peter Doe, we have it really cinched via the strap at the back. The vests usually have those, so that but for the blazer. See, we even have this on a denim jacket in Mugler. We also see this in Schiaparelli, having more of a tighter fit around the waistline. This is definitely one of the most flattering shapes for most women to have. Once again, here in Louis Vuitton, we have more exaggerated shoulders with smaller waistline. The more exaggerated the shoulders are, the tinier the waistline looks. Versace as well. Many blazers in that hourglass silhouette, going for more of the classic Dior look for sure. We also have rock emphasizing the waistline, either having just a very fitted one or having an additional belt that highlights that waistline like here in Chanel. Maybe the jacket itself isn't too fitted, but then the fact that the belt is wrapped tied or whatever, it creates that waistline. So maybe you don't even need to buy anything new. You just need to belt your blazers up or your coats or what you have here in Dior. A perfect example of a regular schmegular coat or blazer and it's tied with a belt that creates that silhouette. Oh my gosh. Alexander McQueen, so beautiful, so gorgeous. Waistline is there, but these are way more tailored towards that shape. Balma also had the same situation, more of exaggerated hips, maybe even padding in there. I know for sure that some dresses of theirs with the same silhouette had the padding. Dolce Gabbana, Vivian Westwood, again, emphasis on the waistline. Dion Lee, like, you would think Dion Lee is more of a very casual outerwear street style, but here we still see this hourglass silhouette. Another way you can highlight it by wearing cropped blazers or like jackets. And you can see I have done that myself to many blazers that I've thrifted. I just cut them at my natural waistline and I love it because my whole entire style revolves around me actually having a waistline because it is my best feature that I would like to highlight. We see this in so many different shows. These blazers, these jackets that are a little bit of a crop situation are still relevant right now. And if you find yourself reaching for those more, then go ahead, keep wearing them. Here in Moschino, we even have like more of a biker jacket in that cropped situation. We have blazers the same way. We have many more outerwear that is cropped. Maybe it's not super cropped. We will actually get to a few examples of maybe like a cropped trench coat or cropped coat or something. Here like in Mugler, you don't have to pair it with something that was high rise. You can actually pair it with something that is low rise as long as you're comfortable with that. And as you can see in Chanel here, they don't have to be so rigid and they can look very feminine as well. Fendi, once again, going back to that, a little bit of our worker's jacket, but on a smaller scale, very nice and minimal. I'm still having that shorter length 
Rick Owens once again here with the motor jackets having an extra long high-rise pants but here in Peter Du we wouldn't have the whole blazer is cut even the sleeves are cut at the same length as the waistline which is really interesting maybe take note if you want let anything we also see here we go finally cropped cropped coats I really want to upcycle some blazers in this rock kind of a way. I have a few of them that are waiting for me to have some time to actually do it. And more like a Spanish jacket, like in Scaparelli. We also see these jackets being made like in the denim format, like in D squared. So the point here is if you want to highlight your waistline, this is one of the ways that you can definitely achieve it. And once again, here, in Versace here's a little bit more of a feminine way that you can do it like here Gucci we have a cropped it looks like a cropped coat not quite at the waistline but still Peter Du also had these blazers that were made out of a few different materials having the bottom of it more like silky and lighter fabric that you can tuck into your bottoms so this was seen quite a lot on the runways as well just having the blazer being tucked into the pants not every single blazer will be able to do this but if you have a lighter fabric blazer maybe a summer blazer or something you can potentially try to do this just make sure that the skirt or the bottoms that you're going for are a little bit on heavier material they can hide the lines that will be added to your bottom section if you do want to tuck them in as you can see we just had this in Prada for both men and women show and I feel like it's a really cool new idea of styling your blazer if you are a fan of blazers such as myself Okay, next one is really, like I just talked about it, multi fabrics in the outerwear. So we can see Peter Doe here and just previously we've seen this in the blazers. Here we have more of a patchwork situation in our dem or having half of the blazer being one material and the other one in being the other, like Maison Margiela here. It looks completely like two different blazers too. Also Y Project here we have these sleeves and neck situation happening in completely completely different material than to the rest of the garment and this is something interesting maybe you can even upcycle something to look like this maybe this one is a little bit harder to achieve maybe like cropping something and adding additional panels like below that would be an easier one to do we see this sheer trend going in on the outside now. So I feel like it's a really cool idea to have something like this in order to create more layers. I'm not sure if what Dolce Gabbana presented is really wearable. Maybe it was made like for a shock effect. I like how Mugler and Valentino had more like cutouts that just adds a little bit more interest. It, it's definitely not for warmth. It's more for style for sure. Maybe you can upcycle something of yours, like for instance here in Alexander McQueen, just having like portion panels cut out of the blazer. I believe these are gorgeous and it creates it's more like an hourglass effect on your body. We also see them being more of like just made out of this sheer materials, like here in Diesel, having the blazer and the pants just completely transparent, and 21. Also, here you go, we see these cardigans being completely transparent. Here, Roberta Cavalli having like different panels of the coat being transparent. Blue Marine even having just like this plastic outerwear and dresses as well. But we're talking about outerwear now. Here, this is brilliant. We see a blazer, coats, etc with transparent material and like whatever you use in the pockets, it's in there and for everybody to see, brilliant. Okay, now let's talk about something sleeveless. I think that we have not seen a lot of vests, but like a longer vest in a while. I think they're coming back now. I'm not the biggest fan of showing my arm 
arms at least my upper arms so i don't know if i'm going to go for this or even upcycle anything to be like this anytime soon but if you do like to wear your arms out it is spring and summer so it's gonna be more of a hotter time for sure maybe this is your answer towards more of a professional look in the office when it's super hot out and you can see that these are ranging from something shorter to more like a coat length something or other Prada had these fisherman vests happening I'm sure we've seen this before and I'm sure it's gonna continue having more of that utilitarian look to things and I guess it's, it, it should be really comfortable to have things in your pockets we also see this in Peter Du having more of that once again more of a stronger shoulder with it we also see this happening into more trench territories where we have the trench but no arms to it and many other kind of looks like a blazer where did the arms go continuing with victoria beckham bottega veneta and many shows we also seen them being like the three-piece situation and just wearing it nothing new for us we've seen this before but they're still here so you can definitely keep on wearing this maybe even as a bottom layer and we see this as a more professional as well as more of a streetwear with more denim and other different stylizations blazer dress maybe back 10 years now we had so many blazer dresses and I still have one but I no longer fit into it unfortunately it was something like Dolce Gabbana here with a little bra thing situation on the other side I love it so much but my body just does not want to fit into those tiny pieces anyways so we see this kind of elongated blazer that goes more like into a dress format we even see like super long ones so it looks like it would be an outerwear of some sort but then it continues into a skirt like i'm sure you can see what i mean here anyways they're back and if you have some of them take them out you can wear them again next one up weather trend i know this is more like a texture trend that i've already spoken about but having the clothing a little bit on a weather side especially for leathers i feel like this is such a, an excellent trend to thrift because you can definitely find something along the lines and if it's not perfect you can just go along with it maybe even roughen it up a little bit more in order to actually pull that off i put some fringe on here just because it does give this a little bit of an unkept uh, styling maybe it has some tears maybe it has some staining like here in Dior all the edges have this stained effect there is a brand oh my gosh I can't remember but they what they do while they're sewing is they put some paint on their arms so you can see just how much the garment was touched during the process I feel like that is gonna be so good maybe you can try to recreate it if you're really DIY as well here of course diesel we have these really melted and torn apart items as well if you stopped wearing something for some reason maybe this is a way for you to upcycle but it's like downcycle honestly because you can't really bring it back to life and this is definitely for more of that angry rocker style or maybe something grungy if you like that kind of style go for it if you are more of a classic romantic person then I don't think this would be the trend for you anyways let's move on to leathers yes we still see them all over the runways mostly in blazers or now coats yes we see them in variety of lengths maybe it could be a trench coat it could be a blazer it can even be a bomber jacket it could be many things but made out of leather i'm not saying that all of these are full leather but most some of them are this trend has definitely 
a few sides to consider. One is the vegan leather, which isn't great for the planet. And then there's real leather, which isn't great for the animals. And there's two camps. Do you want to introduce more plastic into the world or do you want to hurt animals? And I have a different camp. Go for thrifted leather. Like it's already there. No big company is going to profit from it. Like you can't change the past. So why not just save the garment from landfill and prevent more plastic from being created. So that's my side of things. And I don't really wanna go deeper into this. I know that Stella McCartney is doing great things with plant-based leather techniques, but they are very expensive and a little bit far from my reach at the moment. But other than that, you do you. I don't wanna start a fight, you guys. Here, Balenciaga. I thrifted a coat just like this not too long ago. I love it, I wear it everywhere. Anyways, the leather coats and jackets and blazers are really different as well. Some are a little bit oversized on a kind of a retro style, while others are a little bit tighter. And I feel like all of these designs have been already made and you can for sure find it secondhand. All right, next one are the trenches. I feel like everybody has fed up with them and if you're thinking of getting a trench for yourself and you don't have it then go for something a little bit more unique maybe don't go for the beige one go for like a black one or a white one or a colored one or maybe something with an interesting design because i've seen so many reels on instagram where they're just like recording people walking by and collecting all the shots with people wearing trenches and they're everywhere i know this is a very classical item maybe if you don't want to destroy it or anything just keep it in your closet until the kind of the, the oversaturation of it dies down but I'm thinking of converting my trench into maybe like a cropped trench because I really don't like the length I thrifted it and it's this odd length for me so I'm thinking of maybe cropping it and maybe creating the bottom into a skirt of some sort or maybe even painting on it just so it looks different to the sea of beige trenches everywhere now. Like here we see a full green trench. It looks so much newer, so much fresher. Uh, or having a trench and like a new design of it, uh, that it will also work. Like here we have trench made out of like multiple of fabrics like the trend that i've just discussed before hermes here as well having a leather parts to on top of a fabric that will also stand out but just having a regular trench i don't know if that's the best you can do it's a little bit too basic i know that i've said before in the videos that this is a classical piece yes it is and maybe just because of the oversaturation that's why i'm telling you to buy something else uh, but if you already have that item if that's all right keep it just maybe get it out of the closet in a few years once everybody kind of forgets about it another thing here we see Burberry the original trench creators and they have placed the belt on the hip section I feel like this is the most ugliest thing I have ever seen and I'm sorry I yeah no thank you but they do bring some shortened cropped versions as well as something that is like a dress situation as well as something with patterns so here we are here you can see in dress of a note once again these really plain jane trenches but they're styled interestingly or they have some kind of interesting elements to it or a different color so yeah you can still wear those trenches out just make sure that you show your personality in some other ways so you are not just being drowned out by the sea of trenches everywhere you go men's trenches here in black in Yves Saint Ooh, we have some animal print maybe animal print because we see a lot of it coming back up keep an eye out maybe you can paint some animal like cheetah print on your trench really good idea idea maker right here we also see more of a brain coat type of trench 
from Dolce Gabbana and here is the cropped versions of them. For myself, I would like even cropped or like the waistline cropped kind of a situation, yes. Here, Roberta Cavalli has some feathers on it. Very bright color choice as well. Something that stands out. And of course, here you go, a very nice classic one. Again, with the paintwork on it as well. We have this mixture of fabrics, again, in Erdem and Saint Laurent having, see a trench coat, but it has a different stylistic choice as well. Yeah, if you want to have that classic classical color, go for something with a new cut. If you want to have the same classical structure, then go for like an interesting print or styling idea. Okay, we've had huge amount of really strong shoulders and this time around, look, we are losing them, but we're not completely losing. They are really rounded. It's more like a round shape at the top. So still seeing the strong shoulders, but if you want to dip your toe in something else, then this is what you go for. Maybe like more of a softer blazer, maybe get those shoulder pads out and get the blazer to actually go down. I know that most of these are structured differently for the shoulders to look different, but you can definitely try something like this out for yourself. Having more of like a balloon shape, it's a blazer, but it has like just these really soft shoulders shoulders nothing too crazy maybe it's like drooping shoulder here in Moschino we have more of a puffs still we got a kind of a strong shoulder but it's rounded we definitely more of a different silhouette the Chloe here rounded shoulders rounded arms rounded shapes Louis Vuitton here with the jackets as well we see them being very volume but more rounded Versace had these really interesting necklines and again this more of a rounded silhouette Stella McCartney here with more see those voluminous sleeves create this really circular silhouettes and notice how most of the models keeping their arms in their pockets to exaggerate that silhouette as well strong shoulders are here to stay I like strong shoulders I guess it's just because I want to appear stronger than I am my personality is a creative mess and I want to look as if I have some things put together and I'm like the strong woman and for me I love it because whenever I put something on with these humongous shoulders I'm like yes it's like a costume of somebody who's very secure and very strong and then it makes me feel strong too so for people who are hating on these shoulders that's okay it might not be for you maybe you're already strong on the inside and you just want to appear more feminine elegant right to make yourself feel a little bit more feminine while I really just want to hide behind these masculine shoulders and be like yes I'm strong anyways you guys here we are there's still here don't you worry you can still wear your oversized blazers with these humongous shoulders we see them a lot maybe like in oversized coats as well we see this everywhere and as I mentioned before we have the very small little waistlines the bigger your shoulders the more of an hourglass effect it will have here we see in Rick Owens he has his personal style you know so we see some outrageous shoulders you don't like let's a little bit extra but it's here Vivian Westwood here again having more of those like football player shoulders and I'm here for it okay so a bit of ponchos here and there nothing crazy nothing particular one thing I did like though it was low Eves really thick chunky knitted ponchos that didn't even have arm holes we see some capes in Vivian Westwood and Courageous as well but nothing more than that cardigans okay I'm putting it as an outerwear because what, what are you gonna do to me it has some buttons on it okay you can wear it either that way or the other and yeah I feel like this is more of a romantic outerwear situation I guess depending on the 
cardigan in question but it's definitely an outerwear for springtime that you just want to have a little bit of a layer here and there so we see some of them being a little bit more on the preppy side as well having like little buttons maybe it looks like as if they just came out of the college library or something like here in Prada we're seeing a bunch of them very muted colors for spring summer though maybe you think about something lighter I like to spice up my clothes and I want to have this definite definition between fall winter clothes and spring summer clothes just because it just creates that different feeling in you and it's you know if you had your Christmas tree throughout your entire year you're gonna be sick of it it's not gonna create that special feeling I feel like it's the same way with clothes if you just have one style and you wear all throughout it like there's nothing special that lights you up if you're like no one color is my limit then yeah do it with texture but if you like color then yes anyways that was just my opinion you don't have to follow it we see a lot of these going over bralettes paired with a pencil skirt or of course that micro short trend that we're seeing a lot of I don't know if that's for everybody but here we are Dior for men also had a few of these cardigans even like beaded ones as well we also see these more of like work appropriate cardigans something very officey and an interesting like a cut here as well for men i like it okay another trend that i've seen that is coming back is the three quarters length i know that we've seen a lot like i've seen so many trend reports saying that the creep capri pants are coming back and i'm like and here is the three quarter length i don't know if i like it i don't know okay one thing to gain from this for instance if you are more petite or if you have slender arms then and you want to wear something like baggy having three quarters will show off your wrists and the fact that they're on the smaller side wrists ankles knees are always like the slimmer sides of us so whenever you're showing them you look a little bit more slender and okay that makes sense we see once again the blazers being like higher up the sleeve even wrinkled here we're seeing in Miu Miu so maybe it's a stylistic choice that you can come back to because these were popular a few years back let's move on to actual coats there are varying sizes varying lengths I prefer for my body for myself something that is very long as it will create a very long silhouette for yourself but we do see majority of them ending just below the knee I guess it's a really flattering place to end the garment just because as I mentioned the knee is one of the skinnier parts of your body we see some different prints on there we see them a little bit on a retro style as well one thing I also noticed that there were a lot of coats that look like as if there were blazers but they were just extended below Givenchy here we have a bunch of these satin ones definitely a spring summer kind of a vibe we have some fringe ones in Gucci as well as in some other shows once again the worker color situation but in a coat format like we're having a little bit of a review from the report some of them are a little bit more of a statement piece and I love these coats. I know you can't get too many wears out of them, but I love them. Miu Miu, as well as Alta Zara, has these more feminine coats with a rounded Peter Pan color on them in variety of textures. Like here we see the satin texture in Alta Zara. We also see this in Tory Burch of having this the collar kind of lifted and having more, once again, the rounded shape, but it buries the neck a little bit. I'm not sure what was the idea here, but it's definitely different. We definitely see a lot of very professional clothing as well, like really tailored blazers, maybe pinstripe blazers, or maybe even blazers in a format of a tuxedo as I mentioned before they can be different textures they can be leather as I've talked about earlier they can be something fuzzy they can be silky or they can be even rough 
or covered in sequins like here in N21. And they can even be made out of denim. And this is the next trend. I've seen so many blazers out of denim and this is definitely one of the things that I would like to have. And yeah, I love this idea of having something that is not usually made out of denim to be a denim. We've seen so many denim jackets and denim jeans, but a blazer made out of denim or a coat made out of denim, I'm like, I'm here for that. That. But definitely if you have some kind of jacket that was made out of denim, wear it. Okay, another big trend that we see luxury, nature outerwear. So we've heard of brands like Arterix. They have really expensive jackets just to wear for everyday life. And I feel like the luxury companies are like, oh, we want a part of that market. Thank you very much. So we are having maybe jackets with hoods or something that you can see being able to go hiking in. Maybe a little bit more of a presentable jacket that has the same functionalities of protecting from wind and rain, but you can still wear it in a office format. Like here you can see Dior having a hooded jacket, like a utilitarian jacket as well. Gucci here, once again, a hooded coat jacket situation, but it's paired with this silky dress. You know what I mean? Here, more of a bomber jacket paired with a long skirt or like a different jacket here. Victoria Beckham. I don't think I would ever see her wearing that jacket, but she designed it. And of course, brands like Dion Lee, which do tend to be more of a streetwear, uh, that completely makes sense. Boss, on the other hand, see, this is like an office appropriate hoodie. Tory Burch, undercover, a bunch of these. And Prada, like why not? Anyways, you guys, my voice is so tired from talking. I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea. I hope you enjoyed this little recap. Maybe it gave you some ideas of how to style your existing outerwear or upcycle something. Hopefully, yeah, I've inspired you to do that because I know like I'm such a weird combination of a YouTuber who urges people not to buy. <laughs> don't influencers trying to get you to buy things? I'm like, no, don't buy anything new, please. I have no idea how I'm gonna make money with this kind of attitude. Anyway, guys, to support me, you can like this video, maybe leave me a nice little comment down below. Or if you're not already, please do subscribe. I want to grow a to 50,000 subscribers this year. Not sure if that's gonna happen. At least I it won't without your help. I do appreciate whenever people share and tag me. I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody actually watches. I don't know, for some reason, I, I think this lying to me that so many people watch my videos. If you wanna check out how I dress from day to day, then you can check out my Instagram page where I'm doing 75 Heart Style Challenge. It's a challenge, it, it is, but I like it. Hope you're gonna have an amazing rest of the day. Spring is here and yeah stay classy bye